Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and this is going to be a little bit of an interactive video because in this video I need your help. Now I'm actually wearing this gorgeous wig. Now I've worked out from trying now some natural image wigs and you know seeing the range that they do that this wig I'm wearing is from natural image and it is a wig that I picked up in Selfridges in London and I wasn't given any clue by the person who sold it to me what the wig's called, who it's by. I just bought it and they put it into a little box. It says a natural image box, but I don't think the box lines up with the wig. And I was just a little bit, oh, I don't know what this wig is, but I know I love it. So I ended up calling this wig my carry wig. And I have reviewed this wig and done a little short to music in it last year. But I thought that what I'd do is put it on because... I think I may have bought a wig that is either the same wig or it's very similar to it. And I want your opinion on what you think because I really do love this wig. It's one of my favourite wigs. I love the colour of this wig. I don't know if this is like a honey glow in the natural image range. I haven't got one in that colour yet, but that's what it looks like to me. It's a lot like um, a very nice strawberry bright blonde. I always feel lovely in this wig. It's got a lace front, it feels very realistic and I've been out night clubbing in this one, I've been out in the day in this one, I really do love wearing it, it's kind of like one of my go-to blonde wigs, I just find it very very pretty, so I thought I'd just wear it and show you the wig I've found, so I do think it's a natural image wig purely because I've had a look at the label and I am kind of getting used to now what their wigs feel like and it does feel that way it's a very beautiful wig to wear and, you know, it's such a shame that I don't know exactly what it is, so I can't give it a proper review. I mean, I've given it a review, but I can't tell you, oh, this wig is, you know, what it, whatever it is, and then you can go and buy it or look for this wig. But I have looked on Natural Image and found something very similar. So I was looking on there, I thought, okay, it's got to have a lace front. It's got to be from Natural Image and it's got to be a long curly style. So what will it be? What can it be? And obviously, as you know, I've reviewed Josephine. I love that wig. You know, I'm going to review the other colours of it soon. It's very beautiful. But that one is a machine teased wig. It hasn't got a lace front. And this one has. And you may prefer the lace front. So I was looking on Natural Image website and I found one called Glow Getter. And I've got one here. So it's come and all I've done with this wig is try it on and sew wig clips in. So I haven't worn this out and about yet. You're the first person to see me in this wig other than myself. I haven't even shown it to George and it's just been sitting in the box. I've wrote on what it is. It's called Glow Getter from Natural Image. It's chocolate copper mist. And you guys know if you've been watching me a while, I do love the chocolate copper mist colour. You know, it's like a really rich kind of ready brown it's very pretty so i've gone for that color and this is a high-end wig you know this is more expensive than the josephine wig because it's a lace front wig so it's cost me a little bit more money so i wanted to make sure that i was going to get a color that i do like so that's why i've gone for this one i did want a red in this like a, a really nice red but there wasn't one you know that i could find anyway i thought okay i've got to make a choice for one wig one color for the moment because you know, at the price, what do I want? So I went for this one to see if I like it. Now, I have tried it on and had a look at it. I haven't compared it to this wig, so I haven't had a proper look at them together. But it does remind me of this wig. So that's really where you guys come in because I want your opinion. Is this the Glow Getter wig? Do you know what this wig is? Have you seen it before? I am 99.9% .9 sure it is a wig from Natural Image but I don't know what what. So let's have a look together. So the wig glow getter received, received not long ago, it came in this box. So it is from the inspired range and it comes with all the wrapping on and it comes with all the cardboard inside. So obviously I've got rid of all of that and then I've got the wig. So let's have a look at it together. So first of all I want to really put it again so again it may not be the same wig but it's the one that reminds me of it when I'm putting it close up it does seem like this one is a little bit longer than the one I've got on so it's very possible this isn't the wig 
but it is the closest thing to it. You can see how it's got these gorgeous wrinklet curls and it's got this gorgeous, you know, ready rich brown. It's beautiful, very ginger brownie, you know, very, very pretty. And it has got the lace front and, you know, it's just a beautiful wig. So let's have a look. I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to like compare the caps and see if it actually is glow getter. Okay, you may already know it isn't, but it's not looking like it is it, but what a shame. But I don't know what this beautiful wig is because, like I say, one of my favourite wigs. I have done a review on this in the playlist wig reviews. You can have a look at that right now. And look at the gorgeous, gorgeous colour, you know. And I love blonde. Blonde goes with any colour, really. But I really love wearing a blonde wig with a pink or a black outfit because it really does stand out. So let's have a look at the wig. So really, this is the review of Glow Get A Wig and it's in Chocolate Copper Mist and the colour is C630, I'm just checking here, C630 without knocking everything off my table there. So inside Glow Getter, we've got the label at the back and we've got the breathable wefting at the back as well, which makes it very comfortable to wear these wigs. It's got the adjustable tabs, they are Velcro, so you can make the wig tighter or looser to fit your head. And then at the front, you've got the lace front, which is very, it's a little bit rough there, but it's smooth on your head. You can't feel it. If you touch it, it may feel a little bit rougher than some of the Godiva Secret wigs, but it's still comfortable to wear nevertheless. And then you've got the monofilament on the top here where you can part it wherever you want. And that gives it that natural look. So if I turn it inside out and I put my fingers through, you can see my fingers moving about, or you should be able to, there we go, underneath the scalp. So it looks like scalp, you see. You can see my fingers moving there, and that's what gives it the natural look. So let's turn her back inside out, and then I'm going to take off my carry wig. I say carry wig because that's what I've called it. I feel that this has got a, a look of Sarah Jessica Parker about it in Sex and the City, and it really is my favourite wig. So if anyone does know what this wig actually is, do let me know in the comments. So I've only put one wig clip in this one and that's all it needs. So I'm going to undo it and I'm going to, oh, it could be, it could be Glow Getter because again, it's got the similar hairline, the similar lace front and it has got a monofilament. So it does look very similar, doesn't it? Mm, this is the thing. And it's got inside, actually, the number 16430. So that could be the colour, you know. That could be the colour. And, yeah, it's definitely Natural Image wig because it's got the same label. So we know it's from Natural Image. We know the colour, then, is, we think, 16430. If it isn't that, it's a gorgeous honey blonde or strawberry blonde. Very, very pretty. But is it the same wig? It's got the same... Velcro adapters at the back. Let me put them together and look at the length. So interesting. Isn't this an interesting video? Love it. Oh, it does look very similar, Luke. You know, now I'm putting them together. This could be the Glow Getter wig. This could be Glow Getter in a different colour. Oh, isn't that exciting? I finally know what it is. Because when I'm looking at it like that, the, the curls look the same. Obviously, this one looks a bit different because it's a brand new wig and this one's been about a bit. You know, I haven't washed this wig either. I've worn it everywhere. I need to wash it really. So let's try on Glow Getter in Chocolate Copper Mist and see what it looks like. So really excited to get this on. Now I'm just pushing my hair back, just getting it out of the way. And if you're interested in my own hair journey, I'm growing it back right now. I've had it all cut to grow it back with you. Then you can check out my latest video, my two month update, okay, on what it's like. That's why it's all flyaway. So, yeah, you can check that out right now. So, let's get her on then. So, I've just pushed all my hair back. Obviously, if you've got a ponytail, you know, if you've got longer hair, just put it in a ponytail. I get my thumbs at the back where the label is, and I'm going to put the front at, at there. And what I've done is I've actually sewn two wig clips into this, and I have put them quite close to my head which I probably didn't need to do. I did sew them in at night and that's probably why. Whereas in this one, I've only put one in and I've put it nowhere near 
the lace front so I may have to adjust where I've put the clips in this but I did do it at night and I was excited so you know how things are when you're excited you, you just kind of do things so I may need to adjust where I've put the clips in but let's put it up to the hairline first of all remember this is really the first proper time I'm putting it on you know to amend it and adjust it so that's actually one of my wig ladies dropping something off so I'm just going to show you the lace front first of all. So you can see how natural this lace front is. I mean, it's natural on the blonde one, but look at that. You can't even tell it's a wig. You can't even tell where, you know, my hairline begins and this one starts. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to clip it in. Yeah, it feels all right. It does actually feel okay clipping it there, you know. I think maybe I should have done that on that one, but, you know, lovely wig look at this isn't she gorgeous so very very natural i've got i've aligned the tabs as well and they are very natural you know very comfortable to wear it's just a very very pretty wig when i'm touching the top of the wig it feels like this one i think this is just a wig that because it's been worn a lot it doesn't look you know exactly the same as this but i do think it's the same wig so you let me know what you think if there is any wig experts watching you know, you might think, yeah, it's close, but it isn't, or it may be. I think it is. I think it is. And if it is, I'm really impressed that I've managed to find the wig and be able to get one in a different colour. But the reason, as I said, why this seems very wrinkly and this doesn't is because this one's been out and about and this is a brand new wig. So, I mean, I quite like the wrinkles. I mean, they will drop out. I suppose you could mess with them and make them look more realistic if you think that wrinklets don't look very realistic but it does look like i've spent some time curling my hair with a tongue you know or i've put rollers in or i've done something pretty magical in so right now putting it on this would be a really great wig to wear to for a party or an event like a wedding or you know going somewhere special maybe even on your wedding day this would be a gorgeous wig to wear just imagine that wearing a wig on your wedding day. You haven't got to worry about, you know, anything going wrong with the style. You haven't got to worry about the colour fading. You haven't even got to worry, have you? Just put your makeup on, put your dress on, boom, put your wig on, away to go. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Look at this. I'm going to show you from the side. And look at this gorgeous colour. I mean, this chocolate copper mist is possibly, in fact, I think it is my favourite colour in the natural image wigs whether it's one that's, um, you know, got a lace front or not, it's gorgeous. So look at this, look at that movement and the gorgeous wrinklets and how pretty it looks as well, you know, in this outfit I've chose with this, you know, my earrings and the top, it's very pretty. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So it isn't a rooted wig as far as I know, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Doesn't need it, does it? Look at that. Look at the richness of the colour. Just think about, you know, you haven't got to bother dyeing your hair, going to the hairdressers. You save a fortune. It may be an initial lump sum that you pay out to get your wig, but what a bargain. What an absolute bargain, you know. No hairdresser appointments. You just pop your wig on your way to go. And this wig feels nice on me. You know, let me have a look in the mirror. Yeah, it's pretty. It's gorgeous. You know, when I'm wearing this wig right now, I feel very feminine very sexy i feel attractive you know it feels nice and that's what i love about the wig you know if you're going through some kind of hair loss or you're going through perimenopause like i am and you know your hair just isn't doing what it needs to do or it's falling out or it's not behaving put a wig on and it just restores all that confidence and that natural beauty that you may feel you've lost because we all go through that you know especially as we age and get older you know, we're not the person we used to be, but that's good because we're a stronger, wiser version of the person that we used to be. And you can recapture what you may feel you've lost, whether it's confidence, hair, beauty, youth. You can get it back just by putting on a wig. And that's what I love, you know. And, you know, I'm heading towards 47 right now. So, you know, nearly at 50 and I'm embracing it with style and class wearing this wig and feeling good you know whatever happens happens so i just love it 
I love it. So I'm really li uh, really liking this wig. And as I said, I do feel that this is the same wig. Quite surprised how this wig looks longer when I'm holding it up. But now this wig looks longer. It's how I'm holding it, you see. So if I do a side view, yeah, I think this is the Glow Getter wig. But do let me know what you think. Even the way it feels when it's on the head, you know, the way the, the cap is and the way the hair falls reminds me of this one. So very, very pretty wig. So the review is for Glow Getter, this one in chocolate copper mist. So feels very nice on natural. It's not hurting in any way. It feels comfortable to wear. It's very light on the head. The cap feels nice. The hair feels nice. It feels very natural. It looks very pretty and I love it. And the fact that I can show it to you now in Glow Getter in blonde, as well, you know that you've got a choice, bro. I do want to know what this colour is. You know what this colour is. Shall I try and find it while I'm here? Shall we do it together? Let's go on to their website then. So I got this wig from, let me bring it up, from Natural Image Wigs UK. And what I found with them as well, I mean, I know obviously you guys are all over the globe, so you may not be based in the UK. But what I found with them is they're very quick. The service, delivery service... It's like that, very, very quick. But the customer service doesn't seem to be, you know, it's like you get an initial email that went into my spam file. So I was panicking, thinking, oh, have I been scammed the first time I ordered? You know, what is it? But I, I had received one, it had gone into my spam file, and then literally the wig came. So whereas I've ordered some of these wigs on Valentine's wigs, which I'm going to be talking about different companies and stuff in future videos, but I found that their customer service was better. I received many, many emails saying, yeah, it's on its way, everything's okay. But the delivery took longer. And it's just the companies they use to delivery. One uses Royal Mail, one uses a courier service. So Natural Image UK use a courier service and um, Valentine's Wigs use Royal Mail, which is the UK delivery service, which is, you know, hit and miss a lot of the time anyway with strike action and whatever else they do so i'm just going to type in glow getter wig here we go and it's by inspired so it is a natural image wig but it is the range inspired so this is the wig if you go to their website this is the wig i'm wearing actually and i'm going to look at the colors so what color is that one then that looks like it to me, is he? Caramel glow? No, it's not that one, I don't think. Um, hmm. Which colour is it? What colour is that? Caramel glow. I don't know, you know, because this is more blonde. This looks more... It looks a bit like that one. What's that one then? Praline mist? I don't think it's that one either. So I'm not 100% sure. I was thinking it looks like that one, but... Does it actually, is it that one? Is it that one? Praline Mist. Now, the wig that I've had delivered today is Josephine in, uh, I think it's Josephine, or it's one of the wigs. No, it's not that one. I've ordered Josephine in Praline Mist, so it'd be interesting to see if it is like this one. But until I get it, I've got no idea. You know, it's all right to look at it on a little sample, you know, in a little box like that, but you can't really see what it is. But if you know what this colour is, do let me know. But I feel this wig is very Carrie from Sex and the City. And this wig is a bit like Charlotte from Sex and the City. I know she, has, she doesn't have curly hair. Sometimes she does. But it's just gorgeous. But I do love this one. But I do think I do prefer, you know, this one. Because, you know, it's just more natural for me. But you decide. You tell me what you think of both wigs in the comment section. And if I've pulled it off finding the wig that's very similar to my carry wig. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.